what's going on everybody this is DK Dynamite and today we're gonna be talking about some huge updates regarding early access some new bonus rewards and even more definitely stay tuned but before we jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because we're very close to 100,000 subscribers here on the main channel really appreciate it also drop a like and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Modern Warfare 2 Warzone 2 Warzone Mobile and any other future Call of Duty as well now first and definitely foremost it was confirmed in terms of early access for the MW2 campaign everyone who pre-orders the game digitally can start to play the campaign campaign in early access at the following times October 20th 10 a.m. Pacific 11 a.m. Mountain 12 p.m. Central 1 o'clock Eastern 6 p.m. UK and 7 p.m. CEST then October 21st for 2 a.m. JST and 4 a.m. AEST those are all the times right now for the early access campaign but they do say that more information about preload and even more is going to be coming over the next couple of days so if I had to take a guess I'm recording this on a Thursday so I'd assume that the preload for a campaign will at least drop on PlayStation by maybe Tuesday and then other platforms to follow. But here's what I'm worried about, right? If a preload does drop for PC or even when the campaign early access begins for PC, does that mean it's opening up the door to a whole bunch of leaks for even the other modes? I certainly hope not. I do hope things are encrypted, things are protected. I do hope that once campaign early access begins, that's the only topic or game mode that we're going to be talking about for at least a week because the game isn't that far from coming out. So I wouldn't want any major spoilers for other surprises that aren't meant to be revealed yet and i also believe that when it comes to campaign spoilers and whatnot you guys got to be very careful with scrolling over on twitter or reddit because things might pop up everywhere so be aware of that now the last thing i'll mention about early access though is i do wonder if people in new zealand do get even earlier access to the game and if that's the case will the embargo for campaign early access lift shortly after they get access because what we usually see every single year when a main call of duty releases is new zealand gets the game a good what 16 hours before the united states does but then about two three hours after new zealand gets access to the game that's when the embargo lives for the press and the media to go ahead and post gameplay or articles and whatnot but then there's creators who like to fly out to New Zealand every year that also buy a copy of it over there and <laughs> have early access to the game so I'm very curious how it's gonna work this time around for the early access campaign before we continue with some more juicy updates I'm on over for two let's go ahead and take the sponsor of today's video now tonight's video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. A big concern in the gaming world is having your data taken from you, but with Atlas VPN, you can stay under the radar when playing games or browsing the web while retaining ultra fast connection speeds. You can also prevent websites from tracking your info and selling targeted ads to you. You also don't want private conversations to be read by the websites you use either. It blocks all malicious links, ads, and trackers, and will notify you when someone is trying to steal your data. One of the best features is being able to view content that is blocked in your region, whether that be a website or a show over on Netflix. We all know the struggle with that, right? Well, you can log in with Atlas VPN and get access to videos that aren't normally available to you by changing your IP location. You can also get discounts on products that may be cheaper in other regions too. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount. It means you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.99 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Timer's running out though, so get your deal by clicking on the link in this video's description or the pinned comment. And thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring tonight's video. Now back to the video, don't forget as a reminder, the early access to the campaign is for digital pre-orders only. Physical or disc editions cannot play till October 28th. I know it's unfortunate if you guys decided to go pick up one of the physical editions that are available at GameStop or Walmart, which give you some other bonuses, whether it's a steelbook, a poster, control freaks. I do understand the frustration there, but something worth pointing out is that if they did give early access to campaign through physical copies, that would probably be a bit complicated because they would have to maybe print out a code on your receipt that gives you the data pack or something for just campaign and then we pick up your physical copy on what the 27th 28th then you just put the disc in and it only has to install multiplayer spec ops realistically i don't think they figured out how to do that yet although it's probably not complicated for other games to do it i don't think call of duty specifically has developed a system like that where that could work but I do think Modern Warfare 2 does have those data packs, which is similar to MW19. So maybe one day they'll end up figuring out something to do with physical copies getting early access to a certain mode. Now, here's some of the breaking news in regards to the campaign, though. It does say, and I quote, finish the MW2 campaign to earn rewards in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and even Warzone 2. We have the following rewards here. We have the operator known as Hutch. Choi, Reyes, and then Nova. So four pretty cool looking skins there. It's kind of funny because Reyes somewhat looks like Woods. I don't know if you guys agree with that. Then we have a weapon blooper known as the Union Guard 
probably for an M4 if I had to guess. It's a pretty deserty like take on uh, our AR there. And then we have a What's Done is Done emblem, a double weapon XP 60 minute token, and then a Soul's Termination calling card. These are again campaign rewards upon finishing the entire game itself. And these can all be used over in multiplayer and of course Warzone. But the thing about this that I find fascinating is that this is one of the first times there's actual rewards for beating a campaign. <laughs> and with that being said, if you tie that to the rumor that apparently campaign DLC is also going to drop for this game in 2023, we now have Jason Schreier and other journalists kind of backing up those rumors, saying that yes, that is the case. That is the premium content that's been rumored for the game for quite some time, and it's going to be the year two update. I mean, they're giving us more reasons to play campaign, more reasons to go back to the campaign in the future. I'm all for that, because like I've been saying for years, when it comes to a Call of Duty campaign, you play it once, maybe you play it a second time to do your veteran run you want to go for platinum you want to do some of the easter eggs or you just want to refresh your memory on the story but that's about it the replayability of a campaign isn't really there and i would hope that you know over the course of 12 seasons we get campaign dlc but it looks like that's something that is going to be saved for year two but getting rewards for beating it is fantastic and i'm sure that's going to encourage more people to digitally pre-order the game so they can unlock these rewards as soon as october 20th and then they'll be ready for the launch window of the game itself now with that being said it was confirmed playstation owners get an additional five tier skips for the Modern Warfare 2 Season 1 Battle Pass if you have the Vault Edition on PS4 or PS5. PlayStation gets 55 tier skips in the Vault Edition, while Xbox and PC only get 50. This is similar to the past three years where PlayStation players get five plus tier skips for the Battle Pass itself. And that's the thing, right? That's not really a big deal. Things like this, I don't care about. When it comes to Warzone Combat Packs or extra tier skips or a bundle that's exclusive for a whole year, that doesn't bother me. That's very minor. It's cosmetic only. Doesn't really make a difference. What does make a difference is locking a game mode like Survival or Onslaught by an exclusivity for a whole year. So I'm happy that with Vanguard, the PlayStation deal has shifted to where it's really now cosmetic only, XP related, something like that, and not necessarily gameplay related like it was for MW19 and Cold War. I have a separate video I already recorded, which is going to drop this weekend, talking about a pretty hilarious topic. Sony and Microsoft going at it again over future Call of Duty exclusivity. You don't want to miss that video. Check that out. But when it comes to the tier skips here, I mean, yeah, the past couple of years, PlayStation always had an advantage when it came to bonus tier skips battle pass bundles that would come out every season so i'm not surprised with this one but five tier skips isn't going to hurt you that's extra time you get to play this awesome game if you're on xbox and pc because you'll be grinding through the battle pass just a tad bit slower then there's another report coming out which i can't show you on screen for obvious reasons but it was posted by the ghost of mw3 the do trust me account all it says is sup and it's a picture of what might be the final mastery camo in mono warfare 2 but as i'll remind you guys take the image with a grain of salt it might not be real and the reason i say that's because a lot of us out there got bamboozled last year when a picture of a red dark ether camel for vanguard did surface and it actually isn't real to this day people still think that that was a real image but no the person who actually put that out did admit that it was photoshopped and although a red dark ether camel would have made the most sense in vanguard zombies unfortunately that was never the plan and they always had a green one in mind overall but we have reliable insiders claiming that the final mastery camel is kind of a mix of exclusion zone and obsidian and looking at this image here it does kind of look like that so either the person saw that original leak and photoshopped this image of the mastery camo or this is indeed the final mastery camo but i'll leave some videos linked down below for you guys where i talk about some other information about the actual camo challenges in Modern Warfare 2 so hopefully you guys check that out but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section bit of a quick video here for you guys today talking about some wild new updates for Modern Warfare 2's campaign and some of the rumors that surfaced really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody